what's going on youtube today i want to show you guys how to get a 360 camera that can work with almost any vehicle this 360 camera can not only help you with parking it can also serve as a security camera to monitor your entire vehicle while you're driving or while you're parked in case you know you get into an accident and you needed to pull that video or you know if you park somewhere and somebody opened the door and dent your vehicle or somebody does some you know weird stuff to your vehicle you can pull up the recording and play it back but this 360 camera would work with pretty much almost almost any vehicle uh, as long as your vehicle already has some kind of screen or a, and a backup camera this will work even if your vehicle doesn't already have a backup camera or a screen this will still work you just have to buy a digital dash that you know can allow a, a regular camera now the way it works it's, it's very smart you get a kit um you plug in the camera into i mean you plug in their device into where your typical camera would be and all the 360 camera plugs in to the dongle that already came with the device so you don't even have to worry about you know where you're gonna plug in the cameras all you have to simply do is install the cameras into your side mirrors your tailgate i mean your your you know my truck i have a tailgate but your back you know the back of your vehicle and the front of your vehicle and you'll get 360 camera i absolutely love this this is actually a long-term review um i'm not paid by the company they didn't reach out to me to make this video i've had this thing for four years now so this is a super long-term review i've had this thing for four years and i am not paid I'm not being sponsored or being told to make this video. I just had this thing for so long. Someone saw it in my truck and asked me about it. And I thought, man, I should make a video about this. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would want to, uh, you know, do something like this to their vehicle. So you don't have to get a new vehicle. This thing would work with pretty much uh, most of your vehicles. When you buy it, when you get the kit, it comes with a remote like this. As you can see, I've had this remote for a long time. I mean, I've had this the remote as long as I've had the camera um but you can control it right here you can hit the record you can play back you can even plug in the usb into your phone and watch the uh videos you don't have to plug it into your computer you can literally do it straight on your phone or you can even play it back on the screen with this remote so don't lose this remote if you do get one but i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what the thing is about so to trigger the camera all you gotta do is either put your vehicle in reverse or in my case, you're gonna click on the 360. Now, if you wanna know how to get something like this, watch this video that I have here later after this video. Now, this thing right here is a, it's pretty cool. It's a, some kind of Android Auto that allows you to have, as you can see, I have ESPN navigation, YouTube, Netflix, Prime. I can literally have a bunch of apps. But anyways, we're gonna click on 360 camera and that's gonna take me to my Ford home screen. So there is a couple ways to activate the camera. You can simply put your vehicle in reverse and the camera will come up. But in my case, I'm going to leave it in park and I'm going to press this right here. This will trigger the camera. Now, most vehicles would require you to put the vehicle in reverse. But for my truck, you know, F-150, I have a button right here that allows me to trigger the camera. And I can literally trigger this while driving, while at max speed. I could be doing 68, 70 and still be able to do this but simply go here now i have a 360 camera and you can see my wheels right you can see as i'm turning you can see my wheels now the cool thing is this is showing me my back uh display right you can also customize this right here you can put your name I, here i got ford performance you can put jeep toyota honda whatever it is the logo the company will send you uh you send them this logo whatever logo you want there and they will make it for you i, I really don't know how it works but trust me when you buy this it will be easier to understand so you get this remote like i said i've had this uh system for four years now so you know just living right here the sun done beat it up a little bit change the colors but anyways i have the camera this red right here shows that it's actually recording my entire surroundings now, if I want to change this view, I can simply, this is where I got the sensor right here for the remote. So I can press this right here and this will show me my left, the left side of my screen of my uh, vehicle. Oh, so 
left side of my vehicle. You can see my tire over here. Let me turn it. You can see it turning. That is cool, right? And if I want to view uh, the, I mean, this is the right side of my screen. If I want to put right side of my vehicle, if I want to look at the left side of my vehicle, I just simply click on this right here. And now that's the left side of my vehicle. If I want to look at the front, this is beneficial for if I'm pulling up to something because my truck is so tall. This will be most beneficial for, you know, tall vehicles or minivans or stuff like that. Like my, my truck is so tall. I have a six inch lift. I cannot see the front at all. This right here allows me to see the front. It is a little bit curved, but this is my entire bumper right here. I can see straight down. And if I want to look at the back, this is my back. This is the back of my vehicle. Now you can see my uh, toe itch right here. I put uh, this. This is the red marking that allows me to know that, okay, when I get here, you know, don't hit the vehicle. Now I do have backup sensors, but if your vehicle doesn't have a backup sensor, this will really be helpful right here. So you can see my tail, uh, my bumper right here. It's curved once again, but that's because it's a fish eye look. That way you can get the maximum view. But you, you just assume this is straight. So you can just follow the lines. Now, so now that's the, uh, that's the view. You have the, uh, your, uh, your bird's eye view right here. You can also look at the entire thing in a different mode. See, now I got the, uh, my left side, my right side, my back, my front. You can literally drive like this, but I wouldn't use this to park. I prefer this method right here. And if I want to look at anything, I just ch uh, change the mode. But now let me go into the menu. To go to the menu, you press this right here. Now this is the menu. Here you can see your files that has recorded. You can change your views, you can calibrate it, your camera settings. Let me go into system settings first. And here are my system settings. This is uh, to record the time and date. That way if you get into an accident, you can easily pull up the time. Or if uh, somebody bumps into your vehicle, you know, whatever it is, you can, this time right here will allow you to be able to uh, retrieve that data. That way you know exactly which file to pick up. Um, here display, uh, you can adjust the parameters. You can adjust the color, the temperature, whatever, if you feel like it's not clear enough or whatever. But I feel like the default settings is pretty good. Here, uh, the steering settings, it's the, the lines when you turn your uh, steering wheel, it's, it's going to come on. I don't want that on. So I left it off. Uh, display set, uh, delay set. This means that when you, uh, when you put your vehicle in a reverse, I think it delays it a little bit. I, I'm not really sure, but I don't want that. Emergency set. You want this emergency set on. This emergency set means that if you get into an accident, it's going to automatically record, uh, it's going to automatically record everything from before it happened. Here is reverse set. It means that it was going to automatically record as you're reversing. Uh, infrared set means that it will allow this remote to work. You do not want to mess with this because if you turn this off, you're not going to be able to control this unless you reset it, which I don't really don't know how to reset it. So don't touch this right here. This is the most important thing. Uh, display sync. I don't even know what that is. Vibration sync, vibration set. So vibration settings means that Whenever your vehicle uh, gets into an accident or somebody shakes your vehicle or anything, it's going to automatically record. I'm going to show you where the, the device is that allows for vibration. Bird high view uh, display, I turn it on because I like that bird eye view. If you don't like it, you can simply turn it off. If you want to save it, you can um, scroll, you're going to scroll down. Or the easiest way would just be to press save on your remote. So back. So now that's system settings. So now let's go back to uh, record. This is how you view your files. So these are the uh, files that was recorded, you know, when the vehicle uh, kind of thinks it's an accident. It recorded this. So you can just click on it. And now you can click on uh, any of the videos. So I'm just going to click on a random video. Uh, so this is me parked right now. Oh, that's because I was moving around in the vehicle. But you can let me select maybe there's let me see if there's a one that shows me driving. No, I'm still parked. Uh, you can you can literally go back. Let me just go back. 
you can see I have all the way. This is from um, June of 2023. Let me click on it. I don't even know where I was. I was driving here. As you can see, this is but uh, this is the way it shows when you're uh, when you're reviewing it. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you just one view. I think that you can do just one view if. Oh, OK. If you use the remote, you can just do You can review just one uh, scene at a time. The, le the left side, you can see, oh, was I out of the line or whatever? You can review the back. I was passing that that truck. You can review the front. Man, I absolutely love this. I should have done a review of this thing a long time ago. I've had this thing for four years now. And then this is your normal recording. This is your just your regular recording. Like I said, it constantly records. Uh, uh, and you can, if there, all this is going to be rewritten. So to keep the USB from being full, it's going to rewrite over this. The normal videos are the ones that it's going to rewrite over. If you don't want it to rewrite over something, you're just going to click it as emergency. Like, hey, this right here is an emergency. And to do that, you press the menu. Actually, to do that, you're going to click, you're going to scroll down to emergency. And then it's going to tell you to select the file. Whatever file you selected is going to transfer it to the emergency. And it's not going to rewrite over it or delete it. But all these other ones will be deleted or rewritten over. And that's when it's uh, in a normal video. Now, I'm not going to do that. So that's basically it. You know, like I said, every time you see this red right here, it means it's recording. You can also set it to where it's showing the time as well. I don't want it to show the time because I want it to be as clean as possible. But overall, I absolutely love this thing. I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell this to you guys. No, I'm really not. I, I just absolutely love this thing. And you can see I have a truck here, right? That's because I really have a truck. You tell them what vehicle you have and you can either, you can even send them the top view of your vehicle if you have a drone and send it to them and they will make it in a way that this will be like a Jeep. This will be a Honda or whatever it is that you, it could be a horse. It would be there and your 360 camera will just wrap around it. There is a way to set that inside the 360 mode. You just have to buy this and, you know, run through it if you have any questions hit me up especially if you have a ford because there are some wires that you might you're gonna need as an adapter so let me know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get outside the vehicle and show you guys where my cameras are my, my truck is a little dirty right now but this is where my usb is that records i can simply remove this plug into my phone and review the files this is the motion sensor so anything anytime something bumps the truck this right here has some kind of uh, gyro sensor in there that will trigger the camera to record and your vehicle doesn't have to be on for that to work. This is the uh, receiver for the infrared. That way you can use the remote. This is my, my baby right here and I absolutely love it. Oh, this is where I installed my right side camera. I did this all by myself too, but you can find somebody to help you do it. Uh, here is where I have my front camera. I have it front. That way it can see my, uh, it can see the, uh, it can see the, uh, you know, the front. That way if I'm parking or anything, uh, here is where I have the right side camera. So even when my mirrors are folded, I have a power folding mirrors, but even when my mirrors are folded, the camera is right here and it's obstruct, it's unobstructed. So I can still view, uh, all around me. And then for the back, this is where I put my camera for the back. I replaced the factory camera for this one right here. That's what you're gonna have to do. This thing can even work while you're driving. This here is a perfect situation in which I really, really use the camera. During the daytime, I can easily see, you know, all around me. But at nighttime, I depend on these cameras a lot. You can see my driver is pretty narrow. So having a 360 camera allows me to guide myself, you know, that way I can um, safely pull into my driveway. And the cool thing is I can fold my mirrors and this thing will be unaffected. So let me fold my mirrors and show you guys. As you can see, my mirrors are folded. The view stays the same because of the way I installed it. Unfold. 
and I still got the same views. I love this. Pulling into my driveway. Even though I'm doing this with one hand, I feel pretty confident. For one, I do this a lot. I do this pretty much every day when I'm not riding my e-bike, I drive my truck. But anyways, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.